Welcome back everyone to the sixth video in that series on CSS grids. Um, we are going to place all the elements that we set in the previous video. So here we go with the code. So you see that each of our elements take one cell defined by um, uh, the order on which you define them in uh, the HTML and we are going to place them. So in order to do that, we are going to use a property of grid template areas, and we are going to make it look like the grid. So we're going to say for each cell where what we want in each cell. So in the first cell, we want the header. In the second cell, we want the header, the header as well. We then want the navigation. Then on the next row, we are going to need the main, then the main. Uh, let's say we want the first section here. Uh, we also want the main here. So you see that we just uh, write as if we were in the grid it itself. And let's say we want the section two here, section two, and we want the footer here. So if I save this, nothing happens. And that's because I didn't define um, what those uh, elements are. So I'm going to do it uh, here. Let's say for the header, you just use grid area and you just say grid area header. So now the header is linked to that property and you see it takes the two first cells. So I'm going to do an extra video on this area and it's going to be just to uh, do all of the rest here. Um, skip it if you understood, uh, just watch it if you feels like you need a little bit more explanation and I'm going to just like change the colors and stuff. So yeah, next video is going to be a little bit more like going over all of the names and stuff. See you then. Cheers.